I don't know what Eshton means, but there's a devil on here and it's a quad. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be it's gonna be good eight. Let's get going. Hey, it's Brain Muffin back with the beer review, and today we have, courtesy of our good friend Nick Utam, another beer from the Atlanta area. This is from Wild Heaven Beer. This is Eshton, I guess, or Eshton. Belgian style quadruple ale. Now I've had this one sitting out for longer than I wanted. My my son and his friend interrupted my whole schedule, which the holy cow it pours so deep, so thick. Sorry about that. It pours like syrup. Oh good lord. So as should be a quad. A quad should be pretty dark brown, reddish. Nice dark head. A little sugary, sweet. This should be high in alcohol too. 10.5%. Wow, they put a 10.5 in a can. Holy mother. So this is uh, Avondale Estates. Avondale Estates. We can say Avondale around here, even though it's spelled Avon. Mm. Deep multi nose. Very syrupy. Mmm. Wow, dark fruit flavors. You know, should be at a at relatively you know high. This is going to be one of your higher uh, temperatures anyway. To, this is like a 50 to 55 degree beer. Oh, this is what you sip on a cold winter's day. And today is not cold. It's 75 freaking degrees, and it's mid February. Mm. This is very good. Um, giving this a four. It's a solid four. Made a four and a quarter. I'm not, it's in a can and that's what's bothering me. Because this is a kind of a beer that needs to age in a bottle. It's not going to age in a can very well. I like that there's no light gets to this. And hopefully, and it doesn't look like it's a lined can. So I don't know how well, because this should be a beer that should keep for five, six, seven years minimum, easily, if kept in the right conditions, but that's going to be in a corked bottle. And you got to keep those corks wet, so you got to turn them upside down every once in a while. Mm. But unlike wine, you don't store it with the cork down, because the carbonation will work its way through, and then you'll just end up with a puddle. But you do need to keep the corks moist from time to time. Wow. That is very good and it is very thick and I don't know if you can see the way how, when I swirl it even how slowly that how thick the head is and, and I mean it's like it has a viscosity of syrup. It's so thick it's like, but it's not overly sweet. So you got persimmon, raisin, I want to say a dark cherry in there. Oh, yeah, especially on the nose. There's another dark fruit in there somewhere, too. I'm not sure what that is. Currant, maybe? Yeah, black currant. Definitely, you know, bits of dark raisin. This is not one for the timid. And you've got to have a pretty fairly clean palate. And if you, if you drink this wrong, you don't let it hit the tip of your tongue and wash over. There's a good chance you're going to think it tastes like soy sauce. It's like some of the big Sam Adams beers that people don't. Hey, it tastes, it's because you're drinking it wrong, it's too cold, and uh, your, your tongue's not ready for it. But man, that is incredibly good. So I'm going to raise that to four and a quarter. Definitely is nice. It has sweet notes. I mean, this is one that you're at ten and a half percent. It's a big beer. So this is something you're going to want to sip. Uh, you can start with it colder and just kind of let it slowly warm up. It's going to change characteristics. Have some cheese with it. Have some good bread. Uh, nice creamy butter on that bread. But it's late. You kind of that's all to clean your palate. This is the main attraction. Oh man, sorry about that, but it is pretty good. So four and a quarter. Thank you so much, Nick. Let me know how to say it properly. Have you had this? Have you had any of their other beers? Have you tried aging this beer? I don't know how long they've been manufacturing in cans, but it would be interesting to see if someone's aged this, because I'm bet willing to bet after five or six years it's not going to taste as good out of a can, but that's just me being persnickety about bottles. 
Uh, thanks for sharing. Thanks so much for the comments. And thank you, new subscribers. Please let me know what beers you want to see reviewed right here on this channel. See you later. Bye. All right. We're going to. All right, Toby. We'll go out. Ashton? I don't know. Ashton. Wild, wild Heaven beer.